Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing this Kat Von D dupe with Ocalon. This is their natural palette. I purchased this from Shop Hush. Can't remember how much I purchased it for. Usually their palettes are $16 or less, so somewhere around here I will have the price of that pop up. But how do I feel about this palette? Well, I hated and kicked myself that I missed out on the Kat Von D palette because I love Kat and I collect her things. And don't ask me why I missed it, I just did. So I picked up this dupe and Ocalon usually does a great job at dupes. In fact, the names typically are the same. So I'll have to see if these definitely were the same as the KVD palette, but I really like the color. So today I am, you will see me put together this kind of cool tone green with a very warm green and brown and surprisingly it seemed to have worked i know shocked me too right so anyways i look forward to i think i'm gonna try a, a couple different looks with this palette and film them because i really like this palette and it makes me kick myself even more that i didn't get the original because again i love kat von d so yeah i'm kicking myself big time but if you did, if you, like me, missed out on the Kat Von D Metals palette, I think you're really gonna love this one. So the eyeshadows in this are kind of silky, so when you put your brush in them, it your brush kind of slides across it like it would silk. So that kind of concerned me in the beginning to see, is this really gonna have some color or is the brush just going over the top and not picking up any color? Well, it does pick up color, as you can see. I did build it up and blend and build and blend because I was using some greens and that can be scary for some people using bright colors. And so if you just take your time working up, blending out, working up, blending out, it's not as scary. So I hope that helps. And again, I've, I've mentioned in a couple other of my videos, if you are afraid of bright colors and you surround them with browns, which as you can see, I've surrounded with a nice neutral brown. It, it does make it much easier to put on bright colors. So I really, really do love this palette as a whole and I am looking forward to using it a lot more in the future. Do know that even though your brush goes over them like silk, it still has fallout. So you're gonna have to be very careful. In fact, I still see some fallout on my face from earlier and you're gonna see as I was putting on these colors, I, I kept finding fallout and that was even after tapping my brush. So this does, you're just gonna have to be careful with it or don't put on your, your foundation face makeup like I do ahead of time, but that's a whole nother story. If I don't put my foundation on before I do my eyes, I can't get my eyes to turn out right. I think it's because I'm too busy concentrating on all the red, the spots, and how bad my skin looks without foundation. So anyways, whew, that was a mouthful. I would recommend this palette, hands down, especially if you missed the KVD one. Brain moment. So if you would like to see how I created this eye look using this palette, okay, stay tuned. Today we're gonna use the Ocalon Natural Palette, which is kind of a, not kind of, it looks like the Kat Von D Metals Palette. Unfortunately, I didn't get a hold of the Metals Palette. I kept going back and forth with it and just didn't get it which is unlike me because I love me some KBD. So it does look like it, it's really big, it's sleek, it's got a nice mirror on the inside and the colors are absolutely gorgeous. So we are gonna play with some of these today and see what we can get going on. And as always, I'm never quite sure. I've been looking at this palette, staring at it going, oh, I like this color. Well, what if I do this color combination? This one is called Suede, and I think it's Ocalon that always uses the same names as the people that they are doing a dupe of. So if you have the Metals palette, you'll know exactly what I'm doing. The Suede almost is the color of my skin. It doesn't even look like I put anything on. I think I'm gonna pick up this color oak mixed with the suede and let's see if we can't darken that up a bit. I like that. 
oak and suede combined. So our pool is underway. It is getting a facelift. I think I may have talked about it in one of my other videos. And it is amazing how much work these workers got done in one day. We've got basically all the brick. It was kind of like brick around the pool. Not, not attractive whatsoever. And that really kind of just red brick, not the pretty kind. And then with these blue and white tiles, not the pretty kind either. Which I'm, I say I'm not really in a blue, but I've softened up to blue over the past year, as long as it has gray in it. Anyways, the pool is coming along really, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the color moss. Well, it's an absolute destructive mess out there. So I say it's coming along nice. I just can't get over how much they got done yesterday. Oh, that's going on really nice. These colors are soft, like silk soft, as your brush goes across them. So it wasn't, and then when I got in the suede, I was like, ugh. These aren't gonna, these aren't gonna work. But this green is picking up nice. So yeah, it's kind of fun to, in a way, buy an, an older house that you've got to redo. Although my husband probably would totally disagree with that right now. Because bless his heart, his full-time job is working on this house. And it seems like every time he does a project or finishes, you know, and it doesn't even have to be a big project. Ooh, look at all those wrinkles. Um, something else breaks down on the house. I don't know why, it just keeps happening to him. But I'm glad he hasn't come back to work yet for that reason, because he's able to meet people if he can't do it himself, and luckily he can do most of the stuff himself. But yeah, it's just kind of crazy. So I'm hoping to have a pretty pool soon. And the concrete next to the pool, absolute hot mess. So we're getting that fixed too. So I'm really looking forward to what the backyard's gonna be like. So now I'm gonna kind of deepen up that green or make it sparkly by taking this color Watt. I'm gonna put my finger right in blue. <laughs> Do you guys have any house projects you're working on this summer? Or this spring, I should say? And if you are, what are you working on? Um, curious minds want to know. Ooh, I got some fallout on that one. So what happens when you don't tap your brush. Okay, that really didn't add much sparkle. So not real excited there. And you know I like to get excited about sparkle. I think I'm gonna pick up this fluffy brush and go back in with the color Oak and Suede. around that green. I know it looks like I got a hot mess, doesn't it? Then I'm gonna do my carve a little bit of a crease. Now I'm gonna pick up this color here called Ignite. It's kind of a mossy green. Ooh, or a mint green. Now that I'm putting it on, I'm feeling minty fresh. Yeah, this is a very cool tone to go with, a very warm tone green. Hmm. Interesting. A defined crease brush. I'm gonna go back in with that oak and suede. Now I'm gonna pick up the color bone, which is right there. I have my color Lizzie, which is a greenish color from Thrive Cosmetics. I'm gonna take Lizzie underneath. 
I'm going to take a little fine definer pencil brush, pick back up that color moss. I'm going to wipe that brush off and I'm going to pick up that color Ignite. Just barely went up underneath that moss. If you tilt your head back, you can see how far over your makeup has gone. So if you need to clean it up a bit, that's the best guide to know if you look like you socked yourself in the face. So the concealer is like a magic eraser. We magic erased. All right, now we'll get to the eyeliner called Lauren. All right, let's build those lashes. Okay, we're gonna finish up this spring icy green kind of look. I did buy the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. It was on sale. It was like the Ulta kind of midges or smaller. You buy four, get one free. And I'm really, I thought I would be excited about this Benefit Pencil. I'm not. It's not that exciting. It, I don't know, it doesn't go on as well as other eye pencils. It's like I'm pressing really hard into my skin to get the color off. If I hadn't bought it from Ulta, I'd wonder if I got like a knockoff. And that's pretty sad because I, I mean, I've always seen other YouTubers use Benefit eyebrow products. So if you guys use Benefit Eyebrow products, do you use this and do you have the trouble I'm having because I'm just not liking that. I mean, I'll use it. I'm getting ready to travel again. And so I'll take it with me, no doubt, because it's small. Okay, so now I'm adding a little bit of the brow gel. This is a clear water resistant eyebrow gel to lift up my eyebrows. For some reason, when I wake up, they're all hanging low. And so to get them back in their little spot, I use this little eyebrow gel. And I think I got this out of BoxyCharm, to be honest with you, which BoxyCharm always has some great stuff. But you all know how I feel about BoxyCharm. Okay, so the eyes are basically done. I did the cheeks with Makeup Geek's little palette here. And this is um, the Porcelain Princess. But I think I'm gonna come over to the Nicole Guerrero palette because I love me some Nicole Guerrero palette. Hmm. I think because we have the greens and the browns, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this color 143. And that's gonna be my highlight. I really love this Nicole Guerrero palette. It's an awesome little highlighter palette trying to decide on lips. Of course I'm going to do nude because it screams nude. And I've got two different colors. I have no shade and more creamer please. And these are from Dose of Colors. I think, I think, I think I'm going to do a little bit of both. How about that? And I think I'm going to do a little bit darker of a lip liner. So even though I'm going nude, I'm not, well, I'm not going nude on camera. God, that shocked the hell out of everyone, including myself. Um, we're going to use the Bite Me from Morphe. If you guys haven't used Morphe lip liners, they're really inexpensive and they're pretty dang good. Okay, so now we have our little lips lined with Bite Me. Okay, so we're going to use no shade on the middle of the lip, but we're going to go ahead and use more creamer, please. be more orange than I had anticipated. 
How bad does the orangish color look with this eye lip? Go ahead, you can tell. Now we'll pull some no shade. I thought no shade would lighten it up in the middle. And it says, no. I'm no shade, I'm not changing the color of anything. Okay, not what I was hoping for. Not entirely bad. All right, so now I'm gonna go um, finish my hair, but how do you like this minty and dark green? So the cool and the, the warm greens together was kind of interesting, an interesting combo for me. I do like how it, the mint went up underneath the green on the lower lash line. I think that ended up being very pretty. I would have never thought about putting a real, real cool tone with those nice warm brown tones. Warm tones? More creamer please but actually it didn't it didn't come out too bad and I don't have false eyelashes on I think the false eyelashes would really make this look pop and I might do that in a little bit I don't know I'll think about it but in the meantime Butter London um, they just have a really great mascara for me that picks up on my eyelashes makes them thick makes them long yeah, so, I mean, I really like using this Butter London. It, it just is awesome. So, but that's not why we were talking about this um, eye look. We were talking about it because of the Ocalon Natural Palette. So, if you guys got the Kat Von D palette, how do you like it? I think my sister-in-law, Sabrina the Makeup Bomb, and by, by the way, her link is below. She's done a video, I believe, on the Kat Von D Metal Palette, and she really liked it which is why I kind of thought, okay, I'll pick up the Ocalon one. I do like this yellow, so she's gonna be surprised that I didn't use the yellow in the, my eye look. Um, but, you know, even I surprised myself. I will probably go ahead and try this palette a few more times, maybe with some purples, maybe with that yellow, and see kind of what other looks I can get out of this. I really now kick myself for not picking up the Kat Von D palette so Sabrina you were right because the knockoff is pretty dang awesome <sighs> and you know you gotta listen to those beauty influencers out there especially when she's your sister-in-law and she's always right about everything yeah right about everything so anyways if you want to um, look at her channel her link is below and see what she did with the Kat Von D palette yeah, we'll so thank you so much for joining today. I really appreciate your support. I I love my my YouTubers. Hello, Miss Sis. Good morning to you. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.